Love Live Superstar Season 2. Let's talk about it. So I pretty much watched every single episode of Season 2 yesterday, and I finished Episode 12 this afternoon. But instead of the regular discussion that I did for Season 1, I'm going to put more focus on the characters, specifically the new first years that joined, so let's get into it. So first we've got Kinako, and at first I kind of thought of her as Hanamaru, but what if she was the main character? But I think that this screen cap describing her kind of like combination of Hanamaru, of Rin, and of Yu from Nijiosaki is a little more accurate to Kinako. Kinako is the idol that would have never seen herself in the spotlight as a school idol, but of course she gets recruited by Kanon and we'll see that a lot this season. I also liked how each new idol was shown in the first episode. Um, it was nothing too major for the rest of them, um, apart from Kinako, but it was just kind of a taste of how their personalities are like before their idol journey gets started. Now it's pretty much confirmed what I said here, we are getting a Superstar Season 3, and we'll probably see the original Layla idols become third years, we're gonna see the rival Wien joining as a first year, or Wayne Wien, I don't know how to say her name. Shibuya Kano. <laughs> We're probably also going to see a graduation at the end, so we're probably going to go out k on Season 2 style as it says here, and that's just going to be a banger episode, I can't wait for it. Alright, so next up for the characters, we've got Mei, and she feels exactly like a mix of Nico's idol fandom, along with Maki's looks and overall personality, because just look at her, she's got the red hair, the blue eyes, just literally Maki. Too, and she can play the piano as well. Mei also reminds me of Saki from Zombieland Saga, just with how she kind of scares everyone with her looks and the tone of her voice. Also kind of like how she acts as well. I do like Mei though. Um, I do feel like she's a more relatable idol fan compared to Cuckoo because Cuckoo's whole thing was she moved to Japan solely for school idols pretty much, whereas Mei is just a super fan of idols with lots of merchandise and I think that's something a lot of us can relate to. And then next we've got Shiki and like it says, she is a interesting character. She is the scientist and can pretty much build or analyze anything that Layla would need. It's a cool character concept that Love Live hasn't really gotten outside of maybe Rina but I can't help to feel that she's only here for Mei at the moment. And sure, she likes idols because Mei was interested in idols, but I hope in Season 3 it goes more into her character, more into like her daily life and all that. But for now though, I do like her relationship with Mei. It's just like very cute stuff. And finally, for the last of the nine idols, we've got Natsumi. And she's a very funny character. She is a YouTuber, she's a Twitch streamer, she's always on the grind, always working these day jobs, and you just gotta respect it, even though she was kind of annoying in the beginning of the series. And it was just fun and inspiring to see her evolve throughout episode 6, and how she realizes that money, subscribers, all of that, that isn't really what she needs to be focusing on right now. It reminded me a lot of my personal experiences in the past with YouTube, but eventually I've just realized that I'm making videos for fun to look back on alongside others who like my content as well. With Natsumi here, she is now able to just record and vlog her life with Layla, kind of be the gag character that the group needs, and take on a new dream with her new friends of winning the love live. And that leaves one new idol, or one new performer, Wien Margaret, and we'll just call her Evil Setsuna right now. I think this tweet I made really sums it up. She basically randomly appeared for some episodes, flashed in and out of Kanon's like, sight, and she really was the school idol Sephiroth, like it says in the tweet. I mean, she does look cool, I guess, and her songs have nice instrumentals, she's got nice dance moves, but her appearances were just so sudden and so short and awkward. It was just really, really random. It would have made me really mad if Kanon did end up moving out of Japan and leaving Layla for her, but instead she does pull a Katie, 
she joins the group that she lost to and joins Kanon at the end of episode 12. I guess we'll just have to see how her character is redeemed in season 3 because right now she's like public enemy number one in the Love Live universe. And then if she does just end up joining Layla as a regular member, or if she tries to just take it over like how Lanzu tried doing in Nijigasaki from Love Live All Stars. And of course we see Layla win the Love Live in the second season, of course you've got to have that in your Love Live season 2s. But one thing I do expect with season 3 is a back-to-back -back Love Live win. And then as for the development of our original 5 members, we get some Ren development and we find out that she's a real gamer, she's got tons of consoles and everything. As you can see in the tweet, that episode was really fun with just all of the girls playing in Ren's like home arcade and it just goes back to what I love about Love Live and how the idol groups can just make any situation or experience that they're in entertaining or funny, which is why I'm again asking for a Love Live basketball episode. Chisato also takes on more of a leadership role this season and she acts as the glue and the mediator of the group, which I really liked. Kuku also repairs her relationship with Sumire, and Sumire showed that she'd just do whatever's best for business, whatever's best for Layla, and she didn't mind being the bad guy if she felt that what she was doing was right, and I like that kind of development in Sumire's character. Finally, I feel like Kanon just became a full-on anime protagonist this season. Just every girl she talked to, she was able to convince them of something or to get them to join Layla. And it's just, like it says in the tweet, a true Le GM moment. I think I still have Kanon as my top Layla girl for now, um, with Samire right behind her. And as for the rest of the idols in Layla, I'll have to think on that for a while. I'll possibly reveal it in a future Love Live tier list episode or something like that. But as for the Love Live Superstar season as a whole, I think it was alright. Of course, it had great animation, and I think Love Live's just perfected the art of animating idol songs. Though I did prefer the songs from Superstar Season 1, I think the songs that they had in Season 2 were pretty good as well. Wien had some boss battle level instrumentals and her dancing was animated very nicely. But I was just kind of hoping that this season was more about um, the character stories, not just the love life story. I wanted something like the Ren video game episode, but like seven of those in the season. And then with as many Muse references that Superstar uses, um, I'm hoping that in season three we can get some scenes on the level of like Muse crying at the subway station or having songs that can rival stuff like Snow Halation. I also hope we see another trip where all of the girls just bond and have fun making songs and posting videos of their experiences. Um, I just want to see the girls have fun, do their school idol things, not totally focusing on Love Live. Just because we've seen that story with Muse, with Aqua, kind of with Nijiosaki, but I just want superstars to just be like, boom, character groups, here is the girls all interacting with each other. And of course, I want to see the basketball episode. So there we go, season two a lot of editing, a lot of watching today. Um, we'll be back with Love Life Superstar Season 3 soon, whenever that comes out, maybe next year. Layla will be back on this channel though. Um, I'm hoping to put them in the Yo! NBA 2K series somehow, and I think that'll be pretty fun. But until then, if you want to keep up with some of my Love Live postings and everything, um, follow my Twitter or my Instagram. Those are in my channel description as well as the description below but until then i'll see you guys later hope you guys enjoyed and thank you guys for watching peace